Rios gets the call to pitch here on opening day in front of the hometown crowd. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, taking a look at the numbers, you see that ERA a little under four last season. But I think his team and organization, they're expecting some bigger and better things out of him this year. We'll see if he can get off to a better start in this one. Hey, guys, let's take a look at the Twins on defense. And let's focus our attention on jack of all trades, master of maybe all of them now, and that's Marwin Gonzalez. This guy brings about seven, eight gloves on the road with him, can play first, can play third, multiple positions all over the diamond, and still goes to the plate with big time power. And next will be the versatile Tyler Naquin. He will lead this one off today. And a curveball's by him that time as he falls behind now one and two. Our temperature here this afternoon creeping up to the 60 degree mark here at first pitch. The one two. Hit hard on the ground is short. Gonzalez is up with it. Throw to first is in time for the first down. So one away here with the bases empty and standing in the right fielder Carlos Gonzalez. One out, nobody on. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The next three, two. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this ad bat going. Might have been cheating for another fastball, trying to get the head to that one early. Pitcher pulled the string. Oh, and here's a drive. Well hit out to straightaway center. He settles under it and makes the catch in the deepest confine of the ballpark. Striding in for the Indians, Jose Ramirez. Lifetime against Jose Barrios. He's totaled four hits in 17 at bats. The 3 1. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two out walk. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Francisco Lindor. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Ramirez leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Indian shortstop behind one and two in the count. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there, stealing a strike with that get me over breaking ball, and now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. The one two is taken for ball two. You know, we'll see him work both sides of the plate with his curveball. Maybe not that far in, but he'll move that pitch around the zone to give it a different look. Here now the 2-2. And there he goes towards second. Pitch inside. The throw is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. I think coming into this series, they knew he was one of the guys that were going to have to keep quiet. But he's setting the tone right here in the first with the steal of second. He could end up being a big factor. Here's the payoff pitch. Popped him up. Sano in foul ground. Into the stands. He got it. Indians lead one. It's the tribe nothing. Twins coming to bat. Back after this on MLB Network. A chance now from Target Field to take a look at the Twins lineup in this one. Mark, what's your take on him against one of the best starters in the game? Yeah, you take a look at this lineup they're running out today, and they got their work cut out for him with the sinker baller on the mound on the opposition side. They're going to have to see the ball up. They're going to have to work the home plate umpire. Can't be given four to six inches off the inside half, or he's going to have a field day pounding that sinker in there. Should be interesting to see right out of the chute if he's got the good one or not. Here's how the Indians are setting up on D. 
and manning second base none other than Jason Kipnis this guy likes to get dirty he's also known as one of the best hitting second basemen in the game really solid on the defensive side as well. Stepping into the box Eddie Rosario it lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here's the one and one delivery. Now a swing and he just fouls this one away. That misses and we're even at two and two. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Lifted in the air to center. Nick one's under it. Makes the play one away. There's Marwin Gonzalez now. Lifetime against Corey Kluber. He's batting 450. Two of those hits were for home runs. Down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. The three, two, one more time. And he missed with that one. It's ball four. A one out walk here in the home first. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner.